I'm making this video so people understand a little more about me and know why giving up is not an option after having to call the ambulance this morning because I didn't sleep last night and the shaking started in my knee, my knees. And then by the time I decided to tell Tom I'm going to call the ambulance, my whole body was like shaking. And when I say shaking, anybody who knows my father will know what I'm talking about. So I, de I decided to do some rest and repairs. I called news agent hoping I could get some support to tell my story. So whilst I was out there, the lady who came to knock the door, ring my bell yesterday actually came back to ring the bell. So I went out and I spoke with her. So she's collecting for Danny's funeral. So during the conversation, she said she's collected, because Tom gave me 40 pounds. She collected a hundred and something pounds and she think it's too much to just buy a read. So because somebody, another neighbor had died and had heart problem. Danny had a triple buyer, heart bypass. So she's going to pass on some of the money onto the Heart Foundation. So I told her a blog. So she's going to share some information with me. So it was when I was talking now because I had actually spoken to Danny's wife about doing a tribute and then when I hear the, the the lady mention it because Debbie didn't come back to say anything to me I said okay that means it's been spoken about so I, I just decided I've had some rest and I need to keep active so this is my tribute to Danny four pages yeah and in it, I'm putting something about the fact that when I came to the United Kingdom, one of the biggest story going was the fact that Bermondsey was a racist area. I must say I have not experienced that more than they are ordinary. And that's not anything that you wouldn't experience anywhere you live. So this is the report about my former employers so i'm going to highlight why we need to make it known about discrimination and how it subtle breaks up families and they, this these are my comments and i actually contacted the paper that published this via telephone and via social media, no response. So obviously they are covering something up. So in light of what has happened and me now having, after they destroyed my life, I am having to pay Samantha Jones, 17,000. I'm going to continue my fight for justice. My friend Danny called this morning and he was saying, oh, I have to give it up and you should have given it up. I said, no. I'm not giving it up. And I said, I have more cases coming up. He said, don't. I said, yes, I'm going. As I told the judge in court yesterday, I said, what are you saying? If a, a murderer have the money to pay a barrister to get him off a murder charge, she, the barrister is doing the job. So you, 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 you go ahead. It's, a, it's just a job. Yeah, that's how I could equate my situation after I gave him my medical report that was left out. And he, he understands the trauma, whatever. But the report said I done well and whatever. Yeah. So when they came around saying about 17,000 because it was more and he put it down to the 17,000. I said, you need to send, you can send me to jail. In his cynical voice, the same way uh, Dilly Sipton said, Beverly, that's not what they say about you. He was like. There are no more debtors. There are no more debtors prison or debtors jail. So basically, what he's saying. So anything that I said, no, he's not whatever. But he, I don't have a say in in the matter. And I said that you can send me to prison, or you the court can collect the the money from the barrister who is supposed to be paying me back the nine thousand and odd pounds, and then I'll pay them. Yeah, I don't have a say in the matter. So what Trevor said afterward, Trevor says to me, well, don't ignore any correspondence they send to you. Do not ignore it, but you're going to draw this thing out. 
for a hundred years. So whatever they send, you're just going to pay the minimum. Yeah? So let me get on with it.